All right, guys, today we're gonna do something crazy different. I'm John, by the way, welcome back to the channel. We're going to open a safe with a bore scope. Now, can you do this for any kind of safe? Actually, I don't know. <laughs> I'm familiar with this particular type of safe, which is a sentry safe. They're not, I call them honest people safes. They're not going to stop really too much. It's a big safe. You can bolt it to the floor, bolt it to the wall, and we're going to take advantage of those holes today. But uh, it's it's defeatable. You know, if you got a really good crowbar, and a few, probably I'd say probably 20 minutes you could be in it if you if you really worked at it. But it's destroyed after that. I don't want to destroy it. I bought it for five bucks because the guy he has the key, and the keys are kind of crazy keys. If you look at them here, let me see if I can get this zoomed, or not zoomed, but at least done where you can see it there, a little depth of field. There's four different keys on this, okay? Now, it's interesting, but uh, you have to, uh, I have to go back and get rid of It's an interesting key, I mean, but you gotta make sure you get the right one. Now, as I'm turning it hard, and I turn the dial, the dial stops, and I can hear it clicking, which tells, excuse me, which tells me that's the right key. I'm pretty confident it's the right key, but I don't have a combination. I don't have a combination. It's not a standard where you have a, a, a knob that you clink down after you do the combo. This one's actually the key. Do the combo, and then you turn the key. I don't have a combo. So I know in these, I have uh, seen before where somebody opened them, all right, and there was a square box inside, not really a box, more of a plate, four screws on it. Once they took that off, you could see the wheels inside and you could see where the actual uh, release arm slides in. It's kind of like this. And it slides in, which gives enough room for the actual bars to come out. What I'm looking for is to get in there take and take the borescope, look in and get those all lined up so I'll be able to get in. Then I can do it outside and get the combination. So that's where we're headed. Okay guys, what I meant by that was when I turn this key, if I pull the key out just a tiny bit to kind of like represent the wrong key, all right, so it's out a little bit, it doesn't move at all. Okay, nothing, I get no movement. If I push it in, I get a little, Which tells me, I believe that's the right key. Now we just got to deal with this. Now there's a box that has a screw here, 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 and here. And it's more like a, it's like the lid of a box and it sits over this inside. So I guess you can't see or whatever, but it's only got four Phillips screws. Now I used a borescope to go in and take a look around and see what there were. I'll put some of that footage right here. All right, so you can see basically what it was. Now, I tried to make myself a screwdriver here that uh, it wouldn't go through the hole though. I, I, I did a pretty decent job, but it wouldn't go through the hole. So I just went ahead and put one on now with a Phillips and you can get enough it seems like a not, pretty good not bad tension on there that the duct tape I use duct tape it holds pretty good once you get it twisted you can see right here once it's twisted it's got enough behind it I think it'll be okay so we're gonna pop those screws off and see what happens okay here we go there's what we got for the screw we're gonna go ahead and try to get this in there forgive me I'm holding a bore scope for three feet long. I'm holding a screwdriver, which is about three feet long, and looking in my lap at a, a little tiny uh, tablet trying to get all this done. While those three are going on, I'm also having to film it. So, yeah. Forgive me for the bounciness. Forgive me for the, uh, you know, dizzying look. But, hey, this is pretty cool. So, yeah, we're going to... 
have to get it in there to the to the slot. Get the uh, Phillips head screwdriver tip into the Phillips screw. Press real, real hard. And there we go. We got a little turning going on. It keeps slipping out on me though. And as you can see, I've scratched the Dickens out of the inside there because I keep banging into it. But uh, yeah, hey, five dollars safe. We're gonna be able to use it. So I'm game. And plus, this is pretty cool to learn that you can do this. You know find a deal on a safe like this and there we go got it out one more quick turn and knock it out of there there we go okay so we're looking for our mechanism here now we've got the back off there we're looking for our our deep slot uh you can see it right there now what we're going to be doing is lining ourselves up with the camera so we can get a little bit more stable. And that slot right there again I showed you, we're going to start turning the dial so we can get the last one. We have to go backwards, okay? Having that first one in line does us no good. So we have to go backwards. Okay, we got our first slot in line with that bar right there. Now we're going to be dialing in. So we had to get that back one first. All right, remember I said we had to go backwards. So we have to do that back one first. Then we're going to dial out the second dial. There it went. Was that? Yeah, we went by it, I think. So we have to go backwards now. We stopped it, but we have to go all the way back the other way now. This is the pain because once you pass, that's it. So now you got to dial it backwards until you bring it in line with that other rear wheel. So we'll have to just keep turning it around until they both go in line. Once we get, there's a pin that sits between them. Right there, the pin activated. We're going to line that up. Now we have two. Two of them. That's a dummy slot there. Two are in line. Now we're looking for our deep one in the third. Once that third one is in position and we find it, that's another dummy, I think, right? Is that a dummy? Yeah, that's a dummy. Those are to stop you from trying to twist it and crack the safe. Once we get that third one in line there, that's it right there, I believe. We'll be able to open her up. Let's turn the key. There went the arm. And door is open. Thumbs up. We did it. All right, guys. Here's what we were looking at. Okay, let me bring you in a little tighter here. All right. So you're going to notice we get a something to do some pointing so I don't have my gigantic thumbs in here. This right here is what you saw in the video that slid out. All right, you saw that slide out. These are the notches here that we were looking for. Now there's other ones in here. Now I'm not gonna have the name of all this stuff so all those people that are gonna pop in go, you use the wrong nomenclature. Have a lovely day, okay? I call these fool notches. All right, for someone who's rolling this around, trying to figure out what it might be, you know, because if you if you literally roll that back like this, you might be sitting here tight and go, "Oh, that's it. It's not. That's a fool's notch." Okay, you're not going to have it. All right, so. These are also tapered. Let me see if I can... There, you can see that now, right? They're tapered. All right. This one here is shallower than this one, and this one is the largest. So that way, even if you can't... Uh, even if you're sitting there trying to roll back, you're not going to be able to find these other ones. So they did do that, which is good. All right, guys. I think you can see that now, right? See those those black lines right there? Let's see that. This silver right here is clear, and then right and here is the edge is black, and down here is black. So that leaves this clear spot right here in the middle. I think you guys can see that. So what we're gonna be able to do then is I'm gonna be able to get my combination now by doing that. So I'm going to be able to put that so that silver is right there on that screw. So I'm going to write that number down. Now I'm going to head back the other way. And 
as you can see here, those just came into line right there. All right, they're right in line right there. Now we're going to roll, I got that number written down. Now we're going to roll back. You'll see black stuff come into, there's your first indicators. You can see them right there. And then once those are all right there in line, uh oh, am I off somehow? Holy moly, I'm off. Oh, I see what it is. Yeah. Oh, but it went in. Okay, there we go. All right. So you see, I just made myself some cheater marks here, okay? I think you can see those. There's a set of lines right here to go across. There's a set of lines to go right here, which allowed me now to get the combination. All right. We're spinning this bad boy. Yes! <laughs> That's how we do it. It's now a viable safe. Now it's not going to keep, you know, thieves out, but it'll keep honest people honest. Have a good one, guys. Hope this helps somebody. Now, remember, that's for like very inexpensive, cheaply made safes, okay? Not designed for use with, you know, you know, don't try to become a safe cracker with this method because it's not going to work for you. Because these already have holes in the back. All right, they have two holes in the back that you can angle yourself, and that's why I made this thing so so friggin' long was so I'd be able to angle it and get it in there. It's a pain in the butt to get those screws out, but I did. You're going to have four. One, two, three, and four. But uh, one nice thing is they're fairly shallow, okay? They're not very big screws. All right, guys, hopefully this helps somebody. Have a good one.